captured by unknown people and great warriors, confused as to why you are here and you know that the worst things await you. What's it like to be kidnapped by warriors who are best at killing? At that time, there were no rules or Geneva Conventions to protect the rights of prisoners, no. Back then, it was much worse than you can imagine. Tortured by the worst methods at that time, starved, beaten, psychologically destroyed. These are just some of the methods that were used back then. Some did not even live to the end to tell their story. There are numerous legends in native tribes history regarding disputes and bloodshed between different tribes. These battles were sometimes followed by bloodshed and tragedy, and kidnappings were frequently one of the ways tribes battled and reckoned with their opponents. The Dark Soldiers, also known as Darkmen, are one of the six Cheyenne military groups. Beginning in the late 1830s, this society evolved into a separate militaristic band that played a dominant role in Cheyenne resistance to the United States' westward expansion in the present-day states of Kansas, Nebraska, Colorado, and Wyoming, where the Cheyenne had settled in the early 19th century. After the cholera outbreak of 1849 killed about half of the southern Cheyenne, Many of the remaining Masikota band members joined the Dog Soldiers. It basically grew into its own band, occupying an area between the northern and southern Cheyenne. Its members frequently resisted the policies of peace leaders like Black Cattle. The majority of the band was slain in the Battle of Summit Springs in Colorado Territory in 1869 by U.S. Army soldiers. The remaining Cheyenne societies shrank significantly and were considerably more secretive in their activities. The Dark Soldiers group has witnessed a resurrection in the 21st century in places like Montana's Northern Cheyenne Indian Reservation and Oklahoma's Cheyenne and Arapaho tribes. The Council of 44 and the military societies, the Dog Soldiers, are the two primary organizations of traditional Cheyenne tribe authority. The Council of 44 is a council of chiefs made up of four chiefs from each of the ten Cheyenne tribes, as well as four major or old man leaders who had previously served on the council with distinction. While chiefs are in charge of general governance of particular bands and the tribe as a whole, Warrior society headmen are in charge of maintaining tribal discipline, managing tribal hunts and rights, and providing military leadership. Dog soldiers have always been recognized as both aggressive and effective soldiers. According to one myth, in combat they would pin themselves to a chosen patch of land using an extremely long breech cloud rear apron and one of three sacred arrows that they took into battle. Prior to the Bent's Ford Peace Council in 1840, the Algonquin-speaking Southern Cheyenne and Arapaho were allied against their traditional adversaries, the Comanche, Kiowa, and Plains Apache, who spoke different languages and had different civilizations. A band of 48 Cheyenne bowstring men were spotted and slain by Kiowa and Comanche warriors in 1837 while raiding Kiowa horse herds near the North Fork of the Red River. Porcupine Bear, chief of the Dark Soldiers, took up the Cheyenne Warpipe. He took it to other Cheyenne and Arapaho camps in order to rally support for retaliation against the Kiowa. He arrived at a northern Cheyenne camp near the South Platte River shortly after the tribe had traded for alcohol from the American Fur Company at Fort Laramie. Porcupine Bear joined in on the fun. He sat and sang battle songs about the Dark Soldiers. Little Creek and Around, two of his cousins, were involved in a drunken brawl. Little Creek jumped on top of Around and he held up a knife, ready to stab him. Porcupine Bear, awakened by Around's cries for rescue, yanked the dagger from Little Creek's grasp and stabbed him numerous times. He compelled Around to finish off Little Creek. A guy who murdered or accidentally killed another member of his tribe had blood on his hands and was barred from entering a military society according to the norms regulating military organizations. A member of a community who committed such a crime was ejected and banned. Porcupine Bear was kicked out of the Dog Soldiers and forced to camp separately from the rest of the Cheyenne. 
porcupine bear's performance embarrassed the dog soldiers. They were forbidden by the other chiefs from conducting the fight against the Kiowa. Wolf resurrected the Bowstring Society, which had been virtually wiped off in the battle with the Kiowa. It assumed command of the struggle against the Kiowa. Despite being forbidden by the Cheyenne, Porcupine Bear led the dog soldiers into combat against the Kiowa and Comanche at Wolf Creek. He and his warriors were reputedly the first to hit the enemy, which was regarded as an honor, but their success was not acknowledged thanks to their position as outlaws. They were notorious for their horrific kidnappings. It was a strategy they utilized to weaken their opponents and show their might. Members of opposing tribes would be caught in such instances, frequently during surprise attacks on their settlements or during open raids. Their captives were notorious for horrific tortures. They inflicted physical anguish on the inmates by punching, beating and holding them. They have also utilized psychological torture measures, such as withholding knowledge about their potential fate. They involved them in ceremonies where they were physically mistreated or slaughtered in certain circumstances. Such cruelty frequently resulted in the deaths of the captives. Some were slain right after being kidnapped, while others passed away as a result of injuries or diseases. In certain cases, prisoners were tortured to death, frequently to display the victorious side's power and tenacity. Not all tribes were the same when it came to this part with torture, but they showed their strength that way. They succeeded, because when the others saw how merciless the Cheyenne dog soldiers were to their enemies, they wondered if they wanted to deal with them. The banning of Porcupine Bear, his relatives and his followers resulted in the dog soldiers being transformed from a warrior society into a distinct part of the tribe. After the cholera outbreak of 1849 decimated the Masakoda tribe of Cheyenne, the surviving Masakoda joined the dog soldiers. When the Cheyenne tribes camped together, the dog soldier band took the Masakoda's place in the camp circle. Other bands, prominent or ambitious fighters, gradually joined the dog soldier band. Over time, the dog soldiers rose to prominence as commanders in the conflicts against Europeans. The rest of the tribe started to appreciate them and no longer saw them as outlaws. They were one of the best fighters that existed in that period. And today, all that remains are the stories that we pass on to you. Guided by spirit, courage and fighting knowledge, they succeeded in some of their endeavors. What we do know is that whoever fell into their hands did not have a good time. If you like this video and want more content like this, hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.